We are so excited about fall and I have a salad for you that you're gonna make on repeat. Check this out. Yeah, <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. We are making a kale sweet potato salad. This is seriously a holiday worthy salad, but we like to make it during the week. It is so good for you, loaded with amazing flavors and you are totally gonna love this dressing. And I'm hungry and craving salad, so let's get started. All right, I don't know what this is doing here. <laughs> We're gonna start with the sweet potatoes. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel if you like recipes that work. I've got my oven preheating to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and we're gonna work on the sweet potatoes first because they'll need time to bake and cool. You'll need one and a half pounds of sweet potatoes. That's about three smaller sweet potatoes or two medium. Peel those, then dice them into half inch thick pieces. To safely chop a sweet potato, I like to make sure there's a flat surface. So cut it into quarters before chopping it into half inch pieces. Try to cut them to an even thickness so they bake up evenly in the oven. Bite-sized pieces like this roast pretty quickly and they're perfect for a salad. Transfer those to a large mixing bowl and drizzle with one tablespoon of olive oil, half a tablespoon of maple syrup, half a teaspoon of fine sea salt, and a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Toss the potatoes until they're evenly coated, then transfer them to a large lined baking sheet. You can either use a silicone lining like this one, and I will link to this in the recipe notes, or you can line with parchment paper. Having a liner ensures that the sweet potatoes don't stick to your baking sheet and it makes cleanup super easy. Bake the potatoes in the center of a preheated oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. I like to flip the potatoes after 20 minutes to promote even browning. While that's in the oven, I'm gonna make the rest of this salad. Toast half a cup of pecans over a dry medium skillet until they're golden and fragrant. Transfer to a plate and set it aside to cool. Now we're gonna work on the dressing. In a mason jar or a small bowl, we're gonna combine the dressing ingredients. That's three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of real maple syrup, then one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Also, you'll need one garlic clove, cut off the end, then peel it, and you can either finely mince or use a garlic press. For something like salad dressing where I'm not cooking it, it's perfectly okay to use a garlic press and this is my favorite one. I will link to it in the notes. Next, add one third cup of a good quality extra virgin olive oil, followed by half a teaspoon of salt and a pinch of black pepper. Now whisk vigorously until it's well blended. This is the dressing that dreams are made of. You just have to smell it to know it's gonna be good. When the sweet potatoes are done, they should be tender and easily pierced with a fork. Take them out of the oven and let them cool down. It's okay to add them when they're just warm, but you don't wanna add potatoes to the salad when they're hot. Next, we're gonna tackle the kale, and don't be intimidated by using kale if you've never made a salad with it. It's actually really easy. Strip off the fibrous stem by holding onto it and pulling against it with your other hand. This should make the leaves come off easily. The stems are tough and difficult to chew, so you definitely wanna get rid of those. Once I've stripped off the kale leaves, I like to use a salad spinner to rinse and spin dry the leaves. You want the leaves to be pretty well dried when you're putting them into the salad. If you put them in too wet, they can water down the dressing. This is my favorite salad spinner and it has been so useful for years. I use it for all kinds of salad. Once the leaves are rinsed and dried, you wanna finely chop them into thin strips and transfer those to a large mixing bowl. It will look like a ton of greens at this point, but once we add the dressing and toss it together, the greens will shrink down a little bit. 
Drizzle three fourths of your dressing over the kale and set the rest aside for later. Now use two forks to toss the kale together with the dressing for a couple minutes or until the kale is reduced by about a fourth in size. Tossing the kale with the dressing like this helps to soften it up and ensures that every bite is so flavorful. Next, scatter the roasted and cooled sweet potatoes over the kale. These little bites of sweet potato are so addicting and they're even better in salad. Next, slice and add one apple. You can use any apple that you like. I'm using a golden delicious from my parents' tree, but you can use a green apple, a red apple, really any apple you have on hand. Arrange the apple slices all over the top of your salad. I like to put them in little triplets like this. That way they stand out in the salad. And it just looks prettier, especially if you're serving the salad for a special occasion or the holidays. Now just sprinkle on the rest of your toppings. We've got our toasted and cooled pecans. Also your dried cranberries. I'm using a generous half a cup of dried cranberries for that sweet and tangy bite. Also, I'm adding two ounces of crumbled goat cheese, which is about half a cup once it's crumbled. Goat cheese is the perfect cheese topping for a salad that is sweet and savory. And if you've never tried goat cheese, I hope you fall in love with it with this salad. Now, last but not least, drizzle on the remaining one fourth of your salad dressing. You can add it to taste or add every last drop because it really is just the right amount. And the dressing is, <laughs> you'll see. You'll see when you try it. Okay, now all that's left to do is to serve it. And you don't have to toss this to combine it because remember we already dressed the greens underneath. So you don't have to make it ugly. <laughs> you can just serve it as is. Just have everybody scoop their own portion. So that's exactly what we're gonna do because my goodness, I love that this is staring back at me. This is such a satisfying salad and I am hungry. We're gonna jump right into this taste test. Here we go. Oh, yummy yum. I love how the kale becomes tender and soft with the dressing but it never gets soggy, which is amazing. You know, unlike romaine or other simple greens, this one, actually, if you have leftovers, you can store it in the fridge and the next day have the most amazing lunch and it's had a chance to like meld with the flavors of the dressing. Like every bite of sweet potato in leftovers is just <laughs> You'll see, <laughs> this is one of those salads a rare thing, right? A green salad that keeps well in the fridge. Love it, love it. Okay, here we go. My favorite part. Okay, and I wanna make sure I get a little bit of everything on my fork. Yum. Mmm. Every bite of that kale is so tender and loaded with flavor because it's coated with the dressing. Oh, <laughs> it's so good. And I love the crisp apples, the crunchy toasted pecans, and make sure you toast them because it adds a ton of flavor. And if you wanted to use a different nut, that's totally fine. Anything from sliced almonds to pine nuts or really whatever kind of nut you wanna use in there, but toasting takes them to the next level with flavor. And then of course the sweet potatoes and adding that little bit of maple syrup to the sweet potatoes just intensifies their sweetness and really brings out their flavor. Roasting sweet potatoes is my favorite way to prepare them and putting them in a salad is genius. <laughs> and then there's the cranberries. And if you want to be fancy or say if you're making this for Thanksgiving, like we did last year, we totally used pomegranate seeds those are such a treat when they're in season because they give you like this burst of juiciness in your mouth and it is just holiday worthy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then the goat cheese is so creamy and delicious. If you've never tried goat cheese, I don't know, I hope you're inspired to try it in this salad. It is just a winning combination of flavors and textures. I'm sure this is gonna be a new favorite for you. And I'm gonna go eat this because 
it's just really good and I'm hungry. <laughs> so we'll see you in our next video. Okay, it's recording. Yeah.